my goodness. What the heck are these things? Are you really going to do really it? I'm really going to do it. You, you do dare me? So getting out of our overnight, a couple overnight spots. Uh, actually, one spot for a couple overnights. Um, was that clear? We have been invaded by the... The what? jacks and they are down below the ground level I mean they have sunk down everyone welcome hello. back well you know it's Thursday so <laughs> hello you're <laughs> you're seeing it's us again, again. <laughs> <laughs> so getting out of our overnight a couple overnight spots uh, actually one spot for a couple overnights um, was that clear no or was that confusing it's confusing okay but it's got, so early. it was it was smoother than what we thought it was gonna yeah. be Got up this morning, we're getting ready to head out to Sandusky and Cedar Point. And I looked, uh, the ground's pretty firm, but man, I looked uh, at our jacks and they are down below the ground level. I mean, they have sunk down, I wanna say like four or five inches. I mean, the whole uh, thickness of the actual uh, jack pad itself, the block that I use. All right, we left quite an impression here. The ground felt solid when we got here, and this is the high point of the yard. Oh, I may need a tool for this. Do you have a pry bar? I got something. Okay, what one knows this? That one's easy. Yeah, this is a hubcap changing, but I got this one because this will get more of the surface area out here to help me with some leverage. <laughs> that is in there. Not the video. That'll be three hours later. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yay. It's like pulling a kid's tooth. No, that was a lot easier. Wow. Oh my goodness. We talked to the owner yesterday and he's like not worried about it. The uh, grass, uh, you know, he's got a hole filler if need be and he'll uh, fill it up, but he's not worried about it. So nice guy. So we're heading west, continuing west. And we thought the weather was gonna be iffy today. Mm -hmm. I mean, like rain iffy, Yeah. but it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's sunny, it's pretty. Yeah. Uh, so, our but, next stop. Mm -hmm. But it, tomorrow's going to be bad. Yes. Tomorrow's going to be yucky weather. That's right. Yeah. We have big plans for tomorrow. That's right. But we always plan in pencil. That, yep. Yeah. Got to remain flexible. Mm -hmm. And so, tomorrow is going to be Cedar Point. Yay. Yeah. Well,. We're gonna get there today because of the weather forecast. Well, what are we gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna hit it hard. We are. Oh my gosh, we, we did eight miles of hiking at Cuyahoga and my legs are still sore, so we wanna take advantage of this nice weather and so we're gonna we're gonna get into Cedar Point campground and just I, I'm assuming we're gonna pull the slides out. Yeah, and so then, we'll get in right at check-in. Yeah. And maybe a little bit before, Hopefully if they're not can. that busy. And yeah, pull the slides out, plug in, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna hit we're the gonna park. Hit it. Yeah. So we will check, check in back later. with you guys later. So all throughout this trip, Sandra's wanting to, been, 
to getting like azalea pictures, right? Uh -huh. You know, we get to Savannah, which has a lot of done. them. And then we get up further north, Gettysburg, and they were kind of done. done. And she was like, oh, I'm just missing them. Well, here we are in Ohio, just outside of Sandusky, <laughs> at a rest area. Look at this azalea. <laughs> it is gorgeous. I have never seen one, actually, that is this full bloom. Yeah. Like everything was full I mean, bloom on it. You can't even see the green on it. No, no, there's too many flowers. So there's your azalea. Not my picture. <laughs> what then? So turn right, then turn, turn right, left. Turn left. Okay. This is part of the uh, Lake Erie and Newt Trail. Huh. Scenic view. Nice. This is Cedar Point. Oh, that's nice. Trucks must use left lane, Cedar Point, both lanes. Boy, if you can't find your way to Cedar Point. And in the right lane and everything. You mean the correct lane? In the correct lane, yeah. <laughs> Not the right lane. Yeah, because to look at this, you would almost think you've got to be in the right lane. Yeah. But they say both lanes. Yeah, but this is interesting. You have to go on the other side of the lot white doohitchies. Yes. So the question is, that Zach guy stopping short? Oh, he sure is. That's nice. Oh, he's a truck and he's not in the left lane. Well, that's because he's not long like we are. into the land of the coasters. I wonder if there's any otters out there. <laughs> Still the otters? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah. Kind of gives you an idea of what's ahead. Stay revved up all summer long. Top thrill too. Well, it's closed right now, so. Yeah, unfortunately I had to make some improvements to it. it says uh, RV and buses to the left, okay. resorts and marina. To the right, no buses or RVs. They made that easy. No. Yeah, none. for you. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how about you guys? Good, good. Yes. Oh, hey. I guess you want to see something. Uh, you guys all saw. I, uh, I, I can see you. Uh, okay. We'll give you a special parking pass down, down there. Thank you very much. So Eddie said that he can, he can tell that we're going to go to the RV park. Yeah. Oh, we can just camp out in the parking lot. I mean, this is exciting. It's a different view of it uh, for us than before. Look at all those nice boats. Wow. Wow. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> oh, man. Just don't even look. It's not worth it. Wow. Don't torment yourself and there look at it. There are a lot of nice boats there. There's a hotel on the other side. Yeah, see, if you're in a marina, you can just come right through here. Yep, that's exactly right. That is pretty cool. That is really cool. They've got an entrance for you. Well, at least the queue's not completely full. It's half full. So is this, this isn't the thrill thing, is it? No, no, this is the Millennium 300 or XL or something Oh, does like it that. shoot up? No, it just no, goes up. No, uh, it just goes up. Oh, I can't wait. You said we got the um, thirst package? Yes. But, yes, the thirst package. So all day drinks and it's Diet Coke here. Oh boy, thanks for checking it out. Lighthouse Point to the left. That's where we are. Well, Lighthouse Point. Say campground though. Make sure Lighthouse Point Lighthouse is the name Point. of the campground. Yes. Yep. Enter to the left. Yes. Do 
check-in, registration, and RV parking lot. That's this kinda... lot only. We're here. We made it. Now let's get, see if we can get checked in. Okay, we have our map. Let's so turn left at the light there, or the stop sign. It's a sharp left. Got a big old boulder across there. So they just opened up four weeks ago. Four weeks. Yeah, we got here right before the rush. Which is good. That's how we like to do it. What site are we? We're at the very end. So far, the plan is coming together nicely. It's noon. We're getting ready to have a quick lunch and then we're gonna hit the park. I checked a few wait times. They were, oh, did? I did. Uh, Millennium was 15 minutes and that Maverick was 15 minutes. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so after lunch, we're gonna head into the park and Enjoy the day. It's a gorgeous day. It's in the 60s, so wow. No, I don't know if I should put on a short sleeve or leave my long sleeve on. I know, but man, so love it when a plan comes together. We're at our first ride. It is about 12.25. Uh, Tammy, who is our shuttle driver, was great. Dropped us right off here. Yeah. And some tips for the day. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Welcome back, Ryder. At this time, please unpass on your seatbelt. And enjoy the rest of your day here at Cedar Temple. Couple of coasters in. Yeah. So how's it going? Oh, this is fun, but I can tell my my age is starting to wear on me. Before those big G forces were like, yay, and now it's like, oh. It's like, oh, what, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> but this was a fun one, and we're gonna, you know, throughout the day just ride some more rides. But I, weather's really nice. Oh yeah. It's beautiful in the 60s, and not a lot of people so far. No. Yeah, so this is nice. So here at Cedar Point, Yay! Woo! and a lot of roller coasters than what we remember, but I didn't realize that it's been around for 150 years. Yeah. I sure hope they maintain the coasters. 
<laughs> no. Hey, and 1888? Course, yeah, of course, now the bad news is that they celebrated 150 years in 2020. Yeah. Not a great year to do that. Bad but timing. that's really cool that this is historical. Yeah. yeah. People came over here on steamboat. Yeah, so we're having fun and we're having a little bit of history. So that's kind of a neat combination. That's a good way to justify it. Yeah. All right. So let's have some more. Let's make some history. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get a little something to eat. Yes. Tammy's recommendation, who is our shuttle driver. Uh, barbecue. Yeah, so we're gonna check that out here. Man, that last ride, Gatekeeper, it's really cool. cool. Man, I thought we were gonna hit the gate a yeah, few times. Yeah, so the sign says, keep your feet down. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought my feet were gonna hit that, the, the, whatever, the gates. The gates. Yeah, I yeah. I stuck them up. <laughs> So we had a yummy lunch and Sandra cracked me up. So we're going through the line and she asked, and she's used to like being sort of in the South, right? And she asked the, the chef there at the restaurant. Oh, are you gonna tell this story? I am. And so we're having barbecue and she said, what kind of sauce is it? Is it like vinegar based? Is it mustard based? Is it red based? And the guy looked at her like, that's crazy. And Never he, had that question before. Yeah. And, the guy yeah. looked at us and said, well, let me ask somebody. So he turned around and this guy in this all-white suit came out. And, he, and the guy says, chef, yeah. what kind of sauce do we serve? That's and he right. went, um, hi. <laughs> so that was pretty funny, actually. They'd never been asked that question before. <laughs> Good end to a good day. Oh yeah, it's tasty. Some beignets. It's a tasty end to a good day. We've called the shuttle and waiting on it to take us back to the campground. Uh, this was, man, a nice day. It was beautiful. This is, was a perfect day for an amusement park. It's a little cold right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was like mid 60s all day, sunny, yeah, just a cool light breeze. breeze. Yeah, really nice. And the lines, we sort of worked it and, and loved the app at Cedar Point. Uh, they've got it where there's their wait time and everything. Yeah. And we didn't wait in line more than 20 minutes for all the rides. It was fantastic. Um, what a great day. But uh -oh. we came up a thousand steps short from two days ago 
because two days ago we, we hiked, not walked, we hiked 17,700 steps. Yeah. Today was 16,700. Oh man, now I know how we can get those thousand steps. No, I'm not walking that good <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we could hoof it back through there. So yeah, no, great day. Uh, we're gonna take it off tomorrow and then we leave on a Saturday. Ugh. Oh my goodness. What the heck are these things? I don't know why when I'm taking pictures these stupid bugs get in focus and now that I want to actually show you these bugs, these are mayflies, there's a huge infestation of them. Thank goodness they don't bite because poor David, he's out there um, getting us hooked up and stuff. So we made it out of the campground unscathed. Yeah. Had a few close calls with a couple of other campers driving. Mm -hmm. But how did you uh, how did you enjoy it? How did you like that campground? Oh, the campground it was nice. I mean, pretty grass, really nice grass. I wanted to roll on it, but there are so many of these mayflies right now. And it's like, ugh, I didn't want to get outside. I so um, I I have never experienced mayflies like that before yeah, ever I, I, I mean you know I, at least I don't make noise so everyone down south is experiencing the cicada immersion or emergence <laughs> emergence <laughs> there you go everyone's our brains experiencing are still from all these roller coasters. <laughs> yeah so our daughter was saying how loud they were but we don't have to deal with that but we're dealing with all these mayflies and yeah. they said in the campground that um, they're not mosquitoes, don't harm them, they're needing for the environment, but you know, frankly, if if they're in here, I'm um, I'm squishing them. Yeah. So. And they didn't really bother you. No. But they sure liked the side of our trailer. They did, yeah, but it was nice. Um, it was quiet, it was really cool because the water was just like right across the way, so it's neat to be able to see it. Um, and it was weird because of all the, ro the, the roller coasters. I mean, there's this huge wood roller coaster. I mean, just, just right on the other side of the road from the campground, just right there. Right behind us. This is the view from our front yard. You get to see whenever the roller coaster comes up and down and the screams. More screamers on some than others. Yeah, which was so, weird just to hear that sound, yeah. you know, that sort of low rumble. Yeah, but when we first got there, cool. didn't know what it was, and yeah, then we figured that's out, right. that's a roller coaster. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a really, it was pretty, it was nice. I yeah. mean, we didn't get to use any of the amenities because, you know, we just literally parked the rig. Went well, we were the just there for a couple nights and yeah. just to experience Cedar Point, so, mm -hmm. which we did, and it was fun. It was and a lot of fun. Lots of fun. So, we're... Heading south, uh, down in near Columbus, Ohio. We're going to do a harvest host tonight at an Amish restaurant. And then we're going to do the Air Force Museum uh, tomorrow. Ooh, Go to another see. harvest host. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the Air Force Museum for a second day. Okay. Yeah. I've got some really pretty plain scrapbook paper for this. <laughs> Airplanes. Oh, of course. Of course. So that'll be exciting. We're going to get our steps in this week because it's hard to believe Tuesday, just like, what, four days ago, we did almost 18,000 steps hiking. Oh, yeah. And then two days after that at Sandusky at Cedar Point, we did another 17,000 steps. And what are we gonna do on Sunday? I don't know, yeah, with the Air Force Museum, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Monday, so inside a week, we're gonna probably have like 45,000 steps. <laughs> so I think we should treat ourselves to some pie tonight if they have some at the restaurant. Oh yeah, some good Amish pie? Yeah. Okay, I'm down with that. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. All right. Are you going to do it? I'm, I think I'm going to do it. Are you going to do it? Are you really going to do really it? I'm really going to do it. You, you do you dare me? Do you dare me to do it? I don't know. Yes. What happens if it doesn't eat like, you? <laughs> we'll have to, well, that, that's, we'll I, just have to check it. Try. You don't know unless you try, right? Yeah, I'll bet. All right. I'm going to do it. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. 
well, okay, it's... That's not too bad. It's not bad. They're still... St oh, so all the ones... Uh -oh. So all the bugs I'm seeing are the ones on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's like, not good. Let me get my tissue out and start smashing them. <laughs> Yeah, these are all on the inside. Oh, and you're, you're, and you're mushing it on the windshield. Oh. You're supposed to grab them. I, now you've just, like, you got guts on the inside of the windshield. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I can clean it up. Ew. So it's a gorgeous day heading through the farmlands of Ohio. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing something. I don't know if I've really noticed it or seen it before or maybe not in such quantity yeah and i and i know that there's a story behind it and i'm not judging it's just to me it's a little creepy and kind of weird but we're seeing cemeteries right next to and in the fields where they farm yeah right next to the road like right there and yeah. some are huge and some are small like 10 or 20 Headstones. Yeah, now, you know, I don't want to make any jokes about added fertilizer and stuff like that. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, that's just kind of, I don't, I, it's just a little weird. It's well, not weird. So then my question it is. It makes me feel weird. Yeah, and then, of course, you know, we start just having all these random conversations and then, so do these headstones survive tornadoes? I mean, I guess they do. You know, yeah. it's just this granite rock sticking out of the ground. Can it handle a tornado? So what's, what's the tornado warning of headstones? <laughs> I mean, I don't really. know if they have one. And then, and then if it's a family plot, you know, in the middle of the farm field, do they have to have a permit? Yeah, that's true. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Is there a certain amount of distance between the plot, the cemetery plot, and... The and field. harvesting, yeah, growing fields. Yeah, so does, Agriculture. does anything kind of, like you said, leach out? I, you uh. know, that's what kind of creeps me out just a little bit, is that <laughs> thought of something, yes, <laughs> seeping into the agricultural yeah. area. So that's the, uh, what is it, the fodder for the day? Yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely a lot of fodder on that one. <laughs> Are we going to find a parking place in here? <laughs> We're at the, what, the Der Dutchman. Der Dutchman. Carlisle Gifts. This place is packed. I did not expect this um, at all. And they said they want us to park by the cornfield? And, and or the pine trees. All right. So the pine trees are over there, and I'm thinking this is the cornfield here that... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So this is obviously oh, out. Oh, yeah, there's there's nothing more to this parking lot, David. So right here, maybe? You can go in and ask. Yeah, we've got to go in and check in anyhow. Man. I wonder... No truck parking. Well, we're not a truck. We're well, no, but... I guess they don't want us parking al alongside the pine trees. No, I don't know. I gotta go in. I'm yeah. gonna go in and register, and then find out what um, what they want us to do. Mm. Wow. But yeah, he said cornfield or pine trees. I guess that will be a cornfield one of these days. Yes, one of these days. Man, this place is busy. It is packed. Wow. What time is it? Well, it's 2.50. Well, it's not even... It's like in between. I know. That's why I thought this this would be like really empty. You know? That's why we got here early. Between. We missed the rush yeah. hour tri uh, dinner. Yeah. Maybe there is no rush hour. Maybe it's always busy. Well, let's go check it out. Yes. All right. We got all settled and pretty level. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a little dinner. Uh, the guys were really nice in there and said that where we parked was great. So I think we're good for the close night. To the front door. <laughs> <laughs> really close. <laughs> we 
but I guess it doesn't do any good to clean the outside if the inside's got so many bug smudges on it, huh? No, this is like a mafia hit field or something, <laughs> a killing field. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, and inside too. So it'll be interesting to see how much we got last night and this morning. Oh man, no kidding. We're, we're sucking them all up in the vacuum cleaner. It's outside. It's inside. Oh, and the uh, side mirror too, or the side window. I killed quite a few on that one. Well, we have been invaded by the. The what? Close encounters? Mayflies. <laughs> Close Mayflies. Encounter of the mayfly kind. So. <laughs> you're gonna really start sucking, aren't you? <laughs> Man. They are just all over. Mm. Alright, so we got in last night and, and had a nice evening, a uh, nice dinner, and so Sandra was really worried about getting wow. out this morning. I was, because it was so busy yesterday. It was like 3.30 in the afternoon. Nobody should be eating at 3.30 in the afternoon. It was packed yesterday. Yeah, yeah so... But this morning, I don't think no. Sandra has anything to worry about. No, thank goodness. Because <laughs> they normally open at 8 a.m. for breakfast. Yes, but they're closed on Sundays. All right, so we're heading to the Air Force Museum down in Dayton, mm -hmm. and let's fly. We are making a very... <laughs> impromptu stop here very impromptu stop uh, yeah we were going down the road and you yelled out 324 for diesel yeah <laughs> yeah so we're gonna check this out and see if it is 324 because if it is i'm at half a tank but i'm gonna top off oh yeah that's a good price yeah that's a good price is it 324 389 for uh, DEF for DEF. Wow. I don't need any. No, you're full. Yeah. Cool. All Score. Right. Score. Wow, no That's kidding. two for two so far today. No cars in the parking lot. <laughs> That's right. And, and good price fuel. Yeah, 324. I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, guess what? What? We are special little sheets now. <laughs> yeah. So I signed up for the sheets reward card and nice. we get, just like with Mavericks, we get two cents off every oh, wow. gallon. In addition to what was on yes. the pump. Wow. And we get reward points for it. And I noticed that I can, whenever you sign up, they have this special promotion. We get a free pair of work gloves. Yeah. Now, I don't know where we're going to have them sent to, but, um, but yeah, so we're little sheets now. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. There wow. Is. is that the museum? It is. Take the exit on the right, then keep right. That's a lot of hangers. It is. Oh, wow. That's a tight turn. It is a little snug, isn't it? And hey, do we get to go out there and um, see those planes? I think so. No guns, knives, or weapons. No drones. No pocket knives. Welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your visit! <laughs> Oversized vehicle straight ahead. Okay. Oh, nice. You got an F-15 right there. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. They've got it in the shape of hangers. I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's just really cool. Oh, and a roundabout, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, with big curves. I guess you just can't cheat and go that way, can you? Yeah, no, not really. Are you really going to go around it? Well, I have to. Right? Well, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm supposed to do. Yes. But 
these are also rounded, so they are big rig friendly. There's a lot of people. Large vehicle parking straight ahead. They knew we I, were coming. Yep, I think we qualify as a large vehicle. All right, we are definitely heart healthy. <laughs> Which is good because we have to justify eating all that pie we just had. Yes, but it was tasty. It was very tasty. It I had really chocolate was. and you had what, banana cream? Banana cream, yeah. All right, so we're gonna head in and see the world's largest air, military air museum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, that's just cool. More than an air museum, apparently it is also a memorial to those who gave their lives to protect our freedom. And that's really cool. A lot of neat and symbology here at the, the museum. Can't wait to see it. Though not the original, that's housed in Washington, D.C. This is a replica of the first Wright Flyer. Pretty cool, these guys came from building their own bikes to inventing heavier than air flight. I never quite knew why the Memphis Belle was so famous. Now I know. First uh, heavy-duty bomber to complete 25 missions. It arrived back in the U.S. after seeing the theater of war in Europe. So as I go for the older planes, David goes right for the fighter planes. <laughs> You're being very good. Let me take pictures of all these old nostalgic planes because I know where you want to go. Oh, yeah. You yeah. want to leapfrog about 100 years. I want to go to the Cold War, War and the 1990s. Yeah. Okay, so we've gone through World War One and Two, and now we're heading to... Southeast Asia. Okay. And the Korean War Gallery. Ah, okay. And, and then we're getting closer to the 90s and the Cold War. But there's some cool stuff in this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look at the map. It shows everything. And... You know where that's ending up. And, yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's a backstory to that. And it has all the answers. So when we get to the 1990s, <laughs> I'm going to test David on all of these aircraft and we'll see how many of them he gets right. Yeah, it won't be many. Oh, please. But you know what's amazing to me is we were walking through, especially the, the World War I and the evolution of flight. It's amazing in 10 years, the way the aircraft changed yeah. and 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 evolve. Just evolved. It, it's, yeah. it's incredible. Mm -hmm. And then you just go like 20 years beyond that, mm -hmm. and it's unbelievable. Yeah. They had jets just... and it was a huge aircraft mm -hmm. that were that were flying through the air. Yeah. So uh, it's just amazing. The yeah, it just all started with the Wright brothers, and then all of a sudden you've got these big jet aircraft I engines know. that can carry yeah. hundreds of thousands, not hundreds of thousands of pounds. Yeah, well they can now. Yeah. But you know what's amazing I didn't realize is that the Wright brothers, after uh, Kitty Hawk, Kitty Hawk, mm -hmm. and and flying, mm -hmm. um, and sort of inventing how you fly, mm -hmm. is that they started a company. Uh, right aviation that produced like thousands of engines yeah. uh, that were used in both wars. Mm -hmm. So it's it was incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Preeminent fighter of the Vietnam War era. Man, this F 4 Phantom is a bad machine. 
I also heard it was extremely difficult to fly because it was generally unstable, which made it a great air-to-air -air combat aircraft. Will they let you sit in it? Oh yeah, they'll let me sit in it. They got stairs here. You so, think you can get in it? Now that's another story. But I think I can. I think Just I can. Get out of it. Yeah, now getting out, that might be the more difficult prospect. But, oh yeah. Oh, I've got room. Oh, do you? Room to spare, oh, huh? I could have flown one of these. Well, the hatch isn't down. <laughs> Well, what are you saying? I got a big head? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we could have definitely used this for the McCarthy Road. <laughs> yeah. That's that what would we be needed. Perfect. Yeah. And then I knew what this thing was. This is an Osprey. That's right. We've seen them flying over uh, Yuma. Yuma, but I know this because it's the name of a bird. So, Stop. what is this thing? Oh, this is an F 15. Is that supposed to impress me? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. What's it do <laughs> besides it's fly? A, it's an air-to-air -air fighter jet. Oh. So still in service today. They've gone through a whole lot of upgrades to it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a really phenomenal airframe. It's powerful, can hold a lot of weapons. It's a bomber, fighter. Oh, it's awesome. You know why it's awesome? Why? So I may not know much about airplanes, but I help the companies like Lockheed, Raytheon, Boeing design all the technology that goes inside of these airplanes. Ah, that's true. So I understand the guts of it. I just don't understand what's on the outside and how it works. Or what it's for. Or what or it's for. And anything. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so what's amazing is not only the different variations of military aircraft mm -hmm. that there are. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's staggering. But they've got on display here some Soviet-era fighters mm -hmm. that I've never seen this close up before. I mean, like in real life. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And, and one of them, I think, is the Su-27 that is still flying today. Well, when Ukraine doesn't shoot it out of the sky. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so a lot of neat aircraft here. It's wow, it's unbelievable. Just the different kinds. I mean, I'm, I'm not a military strategic person. No, she's not. But, but you don't want to get in a fight with me. That's true. But anyhow, I, there's so many different kinds of aircraft. I guess they have specific tasks. I don't know. Yep. It's just amazing. Yep, each one's got its own unique uh, capabilities and strengths mm -hmm. and that's what they were built for mm -hmm. and I can tell we're getting closer to today's time because David's starting to rattle off all these numbers and names <laughs> and alphabets that yeah. I have no idea and I'm getting just a little more excited about yeah, it <laughs> <laughs> so you got the presidential area in this room the experimental aircraft section on the other side this is a space sled. Right, why have I not heard of this before? That would be cool. All right, this X-44 was actually a uh, prototype to test uh, stealth types of capabilities and structure and shapes and such. But it wasn't revealed to us until 2018. So, hmm, what else do we not know about? Hmm, and why was this not uh, manufactured? All right, we were just talking <laughs> about technology and where it's going, mm -hmm. and an airplane is still an airplane now. I mean, I'm oversimplifying, but we were wondering, when are we gonna start What's seeing next? flying saucers? Well, here you go. Yeah, that's, I'm, that's what I wanna see, start flying around up there in the sky. We're, they're holding back on us. This is somewhere. This is... Area 51. Yeah, area, maybe Area 51. Maybe. So this is the original Wright Brothers number two airplane. And in 60 years, aviation goes from that to that. And that is a... F-22 Raptor. F-22 Raptor. Oh. 
right, so this is one of the most unique presidential aircraft mm -hmm. because it's got a hidden elevator. This was for President Roosevelt. And this was a replica of a wheelchair that he would use. And they had an elevator built specifically for him the last uh, years of his presidency so that he could still travel around and still make public appearances. But this is extremely unique uh, on a presidential uh, aircraft. Did you see where this is the first presidential plane? This uh, is, is the this first. the first one? This was the first, yeah. First presidential plane, and they started off with a elevator. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. This is Air Force One. Well, this is the plane that was designated Air Force One, and the same one that brought home Kennedy. President Kennedy after he was shot. Now we've walked through Reagan's. Yes, and uh, it was similar to this, but this is very different with history. So is this his office here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you look at the coffee machine. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Technology has changed just a little bit. Before the days of the closing trigger. Carry on. Oh yeah. I left them open. And had to have room for the press. All of the staff. That's the first So, you know, it's like a lot of uh, 707s, but just something about walking through history like that. All finished with the National Museum of the Air Force. Uh -huh. uh, man, a lot of planes. That's a lot of planes. A lot of planes. A and lot. Yeah, it was really nice that it was indoors. Mm -hmm. But a lot of planes. A lot. <laughs> Not only on the ground, but up above. I mean, yeah, wow. they were everywhere. To me, that was cool. Going from the Wright brothers to you know going Mach 50 or whatever you know yeah, I mean, that yeah. that was pretty cool yeah that's that's what's incredible incredible is the evolution yeah uh, of all these designs and materials and mm -hmm. and what they're doing now so yeah. and uh, the different kinds I mean yeah I still don't understand what you need all those different kinds of airplanes <laughs> for everything has a specific purpose yes but yeah, that was neat. Yeah, so our specific purpose right now will be to leave because they're not gonna want us here past five o'clock, no. past closing. We don't want the MPs to get us. Exactly, and we're gonna go to a Harvest Host tonight. It's actually a boondockers welcome, so it's someone's house. And we're gonna crash the party. No, uh, they've got a place set up for us. It's gonna be in their driveway and uh, we're plenty long. So uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna do that a couple of mm -hmm. nights and then we're gonna head on to what Sandra's really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Gee. we'll go into that like later. later. We're gonna have to back in from this road, right? Yes. I'm almost positive. Well, I mean, you know, they didn't give me the address until after there was accepted and we've been busy, so I haven't really looked at it. <laughs> okay, there's the house with a truck and a car in the driveway. Yeah, and there should be a barn. They want us backing up straight with our rear to the barn. So this house doesn't have a barn. None that we know of. How many, what's the distance? Uh, we're here. There's the barn. All right. Oh, 
That's oh, it. Oh my goodness. Alright, that's it. Are you gonna be able to Oh jeez. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cause I'm No.